Welcome to the University of Idaho. Like many college campuses, the UI has a district steam heating system. At the heart of the system is a steam plant that produces all the steam used to heat the core buildings on campus. What makes this steam distribution system unique is that it can use either biomass or natural gas for its fuel type. The steam plant produces over 250 million pounds of steam a year. 90% or more of that steam comes from the use of biomass and the remaining comes from the use of natural gas. Operations at the power plant are 24 hours a day, every day of the year, regardless of the activities on campus. The biomass fuel that we use is made up of wood chips. In our local market, this is the lowest cost fuel available. Natural gas or coal would cost twice as much, and oil would cost eight times as much. Another reason to use wood chips is that the carbon in the emissions is considered carbon neutral, so it's better for the environment than the use of fossil fuels. Another benefit of using wood chips is that we're utilizing the waste from the local timber products industry, and since it's a local resource, we're supporting the local economy. One of the main challenges of using wood chips for fuel is matching the deliveries to the consumption. Since the sawmills are operating at a steady basis, they need their waste taken away on a steady basis. However, our fuel consumption at the steam plant varies as the needs for steam vary on campus. The solution for this is our wood chip storage facility. This site allows us to receive wood at whatever rate the local supply allows and we can draw from it as our needs exceed the rate of deliveries. We have tippers and scales at both locations so we can receive deliveries or transfers at any time. We can stockpile over 6,000 tons of wood chips here. We can store about 2,000 tons inside the building to keep it dry. When we need to move wood chips to the steam plant, we use our front end loader and our semi truck to make the transfer. After the wood chips are delivered to the steam plant, they are moved into the fuel silo by a series of conveyors, augers, and elevators. The silo at the steam plant can hold about 20 truckloads of wood chips. During the coldest days of winter, we consume that much fuel in less than two days. When the wood is burned, the combustion gases reach temperatures as high as 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit. As these combustion gases flow through the boiler, the heat energy transfers to the water and converts it to steam. The firebox was designed to accommodate a wide range of fuel qualities. Moisture content is the biggest variable we have to adjust for. It can vary from more than 50% to less than 5%. Boiler operators are constantly adjusting the balance of air at seven places in the process to achieve the highest efficiency and cleanest emissions. The steam we make at the steam plant is used in the core buildings on campus, and to get it there, it travels through miles of pipe within an underground tunnel system. After the steam has given up its heat energy, it cools and condenses and returns to the steam plant to be reused. Some water is lost in this process, but improvements in the maintenance of this distribution system have made a significant savings in the amount of water that must be made up to the system. Compared to 10 years ago, our makeup percentage has dropped from over 20% to about 3%. So we're now saving about 18,000 gallons of water a day. Annually, that's conserving more than 6.5 million gallons of water. That's better for the environment, and it's a cost savings that can directly impact students and faculty at the university. Another feature of the tunnels is that they are intentionally placed under the most used walkways on campus. So the heat loss from the tunnels keeps the walkways clear of snow and ice in the winter months. Ash is a byproduct of burning wood. Since most of the wood fuel burned at UI is cedar, our ash amounts to about one half of one percent of the weight of the fuel. If we were burning coal, we'd have 20 times that much ash. The ash we produce gets used in many ways, including agricultural applications to improve soil qualities by increasing the pH of acidic soils on the university farms. In fact, since the commissioning of the wood boiler in 1986, all of the ash produced has been used someplace here on campus. Tours are common at the steam plant as it's become an educational resource for many university classes, ranging from engineering and sustainability courses to architecture and art. 
From start to finish, the University of Idaho's use of biomass to generate steam is an efficient and environmentally friendly system that supports a sustainable and greener local community.